damn it. As you know, uh, the past few videos, I've had this horrible haircut right here. The reason why I had to shave my head is because a few days ago, we ended up doing the photo battle and whoever loses that photo battle had to get their head shaven and the winner gets to choose like a pattern that they want to put into the loser's head. 7,000. No! <laughs> oh no, I feel like a junkie. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god! As soon as we shaved this arrow into my head, two days afterwards, there was this meme going around about the avatar. I saw on like TikToks and stuff that people were actually shaving arrows into their head. So I don't know whether it was coincidence. I think it was coincidence that I happened to do it just before the meme. I think that like it would be a mistake to uh, not make the most of this opportunity while I still have this arrow and do an avatar last airbender self-portrait in-home photo shoot. He's done a really good job. I am not gonna be able to do something that good, but we will try. Let's suck on purpose so that we can create rather than being a perfectionist and being like, oh, I can't create this. Shut up, shut up. It already sucks. We already know that it's going to suck. Now that we're losers in this game, we know that we have nothing to lose, which is the best part about being a loser. Stuff being a winner. Who cares about being a winner? That's not fun. There's no fun being a winner because there's too much pressure doing that shit. He's got the full on outfit and everything. That just makes me feel great. Surely we can do it without the outfit. Nah, but the outfit is what makes it. You know what? Actually, we might be able to fake this outfit. I doubt it, but I've got an idea. All right, so in terms of the outfit, we need something yellow uh, to put on my lap. And I've got this uh, yellow thing from uh, Google when I did some Google event. I've got a, a red jumper. Do you have any white leggings, Mum? Oh, they're the lightest ones I've got. Oh, this color is pretty good if it's inside out. Um, do we have any like bandages? I don't know, I'll have a look. Up in the, look up in the cupboard. Probably not. I love you. I'll talk to you later on Hayden's annoying me. Okay. My question, we don't have bandages, but do you have like any like skin colored leggings Why or something that- would you have Like anything that I can like roll up to make it look like it's a bandage. Look, do you see, love oh, me? Oh look, look, there's that. There's a top. How can I make that look like a bandage? I don't know. <coughs> Actually, I might be able but to. But don't ruin it, because uh, that's good. I, I wear that under. You're not gonna ruin it, no, are you? No, I'm not skin colored looking thing. I'm gonna be wearing my jumper as pants. Don't try this, cause you're gonna ruin everything. Oh my God, what? If it wasn't for COVID-19. <laughs> I think that this location just out here is uh, perfect for this. We've got a little bit of like greenery in the back. I think that this is like a nice meditation sort of vibe. Oh my God, oh God damn it. Okay, the boys have taken the 40 mil and all of the really nice portrait lenses, they have them. I only have the 85 mil, which is amazing, but the problem is like the higher the mil, like as in like if it's a 85 mil or 105 mil or something like that, it makes it a lot, a lot more difficult for the subject to be in focus if you're doing self-portrait photography. Sometimes you just gotta improvise, you know? I think that's pretty good. I want to make it look like this arrow is glowing. So the way to do that is by having some sort of light, but then photoshopping out the light uh, in posts. Normally what you could do is you could just get your iPhone, just get a blue screen or a red screen. But in this case, because we're outside, we're gonna need much more light than just an iPhone light because that's just literally going to do nothing. So I have this light, the Luma cubes that I used to use. I have this thing that goes over it to sort of diffuse it a little bit. Maybe if we have a blue texture, we can draw a blue thing on that and then the light that goes through it will be blue. All right, we'll give that a go. Let's see if this works. Oh, hey, look at that. That's, that's blue. This thing, I think I'm gonna use this as like a point of focus for the camera so that I can focus it on that. And then like, I'll just like press the self timer, I'll run in and then I'll sit in the same focal distance as this. Oh. 
damn it. Damn it. Oh, god damn it. I might actually need help for this. I don't think I'll be able to do this all myself. Oh my god, this is frustrating. <sighs> you know, this is actually like very difficult. And wearing these this these pants, this jumper on my legs is extremely frustrating because it keeps on falling down. This is really like testing my patience. I want this to be difficult because every time that you do something difficult, that's when you're putting yourself out there and doing things that you wouldn't usually do. You're shedding a layer of insecurity and fear. I already feel myself having way more fun just because I'm just letting myself be an idiot. <laughs> It's really good. I'm liking doing this. I think we might be able to actually work with this. Nice. the two photos of me posing and the one of me holding up the blue light, I ended up merging them together, adding a few different like glow effects. Took a photo of the background with the same focal length so that I was able to flip around the background and then mask it out on the left side so it made it look like it was completely symmetrical. I'm happy with that. And considering it was all done myself, now I'm more confident in the area of self-portraitism in home. This just goes to show that honestly, you don't need need anyone else to help you with this stuff. Like, yes, it's awesome when you get to have other people helping you out, but never use other people as an excuse to not do something. Question of the day. I am newer photographer without Lightroom or any software like that. Any tips to make a photo look more cinematic? Uh, okay. I don't know if cinematic is the right word. The boys use that word as well a lot of the times. Cinematic is describing like cinema. So that's like movies, but I know exactly what you mean. Maybe analyze someone else, like how they edit their stuff. And maybe you can try editing it like them and then putting your own like little twist on it. Good artists steal from other artists. Don't be like, oh, this person did this, this person did that. Like, I don't, I don't want to do it because they did it. Do it anyway. Shut your ego up and just create. That's the end of the video. If you like this video maybe consider liking and subscribing it's up to you you know what to do it was awesome hanging out with you again and i'll catch you next time